Hi everyone, it's me, Spring the Fiber Enthusiast. How are you today? Let me know down in the comments how you are feeling, how your day's going. We are going to do the pinhole cast on. It's really nice for circular projects. So if you actually crochet and you use the magic circle, same difference, except this is for knitting. So in order to achieve this, we are going to, I'm going to show you how to wrap the yarn around your hand. So we're taking the tail, the ball is under my hand. The ball is under my hand here. I'm going to go up around my index finger and my middle finger, pull a tail and hold it down with my thumb. Now what goes to our ball of yarn? We are going to bring our ring finger and our pinky down to hold that. Now we're going to take, let me tighten things up here just a little bit. We're gonna take our needle and we're gonna come from the center of this X, our tail and our ball. We're gonna go in the center and yarn over. So we're picking it up and turning our needle. So now we're, we are yarn over, we have it on the needle here. Now we're gonna bring that needle tip up and go between our index and middle finger and down towards our hand. Now we're going to come up and over that same one and bring your needle back up. All right, let's do that again. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna go from the center, like we have a TP here. We're gonna go from the center and pick up the one that's closest to your ring finger, bring the needle up and go down between your middle and index finger, so into that loop. Then we're gonna come back to that TP and go up and over and bring it up. So that is four stitches. We're gonna go and do several more stitches to get a good amount here. So here we go. We're gonna go down, under, and up, over, down, over, and up. Try again. It's basically a figure eight. So we're going down into the TP, under and up, down into the loop, over and up. So right now, let's see, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, let's do a few more. Down into the TP and up, down into the circle over and up, down into the TP, over and up, down into the circle, back to the TP, up and over and back up. All right, so we've done several now and we can kind of relax and let go of things. That's a little tiresome on your, your fingers there. So what we have here is we have this loop, we have our tail, and then we have our ball yarn. We're gonna pull that tail, and you'll notice this loop starts to shrink. See how it's shrinking? All right, so now I'm gonna scoot it down onto my long cable. Now I'm using, you can use DPNs, you can use whatever as far as your choice of cable. I'm using a long cable so that way I can do it magic loop style. Completely and entirely up to you. You can divide your stitches up onto your DPNs and go from there. All right, so we have two four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So let's go to four, 
six, two, four, six, yeah, and seven. So I'm gonna split those in half. I have my finger between the two sets of seven. Now again, this is for Magic Loop. And I'm gonna fold my cable down in half. I'm gonna push that loop up into and pull my needles up there so that way I can hold everything steady. All right. So now what we have is our tail thread, our ball thread, and we need to connect in the round. So I'm gonna turn my work over and I'm gonna bring those two down through the center. So that way now my ball thread is back here on the back. I'm gonna slide my needle that's closest to me up into those seven stitches. I'm gonna pull my back needle out into working position, and I'm gonna place my ball yarn over the top of that needle and keep my tail down in the center here. So here's my tail down in the center and my ball yarn is up over my working yarn is up over the top of my cable and now i'm ready to work those seven stitches for the purpose of this tutorial i am only going to just knit stitches in the round here if you were working in the round and working a pattern you would have increased stitches i'm just showing you how to do the cast on and work one round so i am going to knit all seven of these stitches magic loop if you're working dpns you would divide them accordingly to your uh, dpns like two or three on each each one until you had them separated all right, so I've reached the end of my first seven stitches. I'm going to turn my work, slide that needle down into my stitches, pull the back needle up into working position, and now I'm going to knit these seven stitches. Once I've knitted these seven stitches, I will slide the work down onto the cable so that way you can see it in the round. And we'll tighten up the center again. Okay, so I've finished those seven. And as I said, I'm just gonna slide this work all the way to the end here onto the loop so that way it creates a round. I'm going to pull it together so that way it's close together and you can see. There it is in the round. We have that open spot in the center and you will pull your tail to tighten it up and that creates a nice, tight, small area there. Not a whole bunch of uh, stitches gathered. Well, I mean, you, your starting stitches are gathered there, but not a whole bunch of fabric there bulked up. So that makes for doing toe-up socks nice or top-down on a hat. Uh, lots of different things that can be used for. Hopefully this made sense. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the like, subscribe, and I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. There are many other things that happen on this channel as well. So check out crochet and needle tatting and spinning and weaving and all kinds of different things. Lamp working, which is melting glass and creating glass beads. 
lots of fun to be seen and found here in this channel. All right, everyone, be blessed and be a blessing. Bye for now.